Rolling easy, back in the easy garage. Back at you. All right, let's see what I picked up in the stores today. I did some shopping or hunting, as diecast callers, collectors call it, hunting. And um, didn't come up with much. We had to go to the store. I did find some things I didn't have, so I'm going to share it with you. So, first stop, I never, rarely, rarely go to Target. I've been there more this year than I have in the past four years. And she had to go to the UPS store, and it was in the same plaza. So, I said, you drop the package off, and um, I will check Target. I don't know if you noticed all these VHS tapes. We're going to get into that. So, at Target, what did I find? I found one of these, the uh, Plymouth Barracuda, 1972. Now I already have this, but I'm not going to leave it behind. Of course, you're not going to leave that on the shelf. Um, this will go in the trailer. This is a resale item, but I'm not going to leave them. Up next, I didn't have this. This is so cool. When I seen it. I was like, wow. So it's a um, one of these two packs. And I don't see these at Walmart. I see them at, um, when I do go to um, Target, I do find these. And I only have three different sets of these. Uh, the other two were the Alexis, a couple of Euro cars, and uh, one euro car pack with a nissan skyline of course that wouldn't have been there but you jdm guys the market's gonna fall on that and i'm not too worried but here you go some american muscle and that is the uh 63 plymouth belvedere 426 wedge and a 56 dodge cornet that's that one really cool so i was i was surprised to see that that was really neat also in target the uh ultra hot series now i grabbed these two there were so many on the shelf every time i go there's like none so i've been picking choosing and trying to put sets together but i may already have these there were these two and i think it was a earlier series because the ones that didn't look familiar i just grabbed them because i wasn't sure if i have them i may already have them but um one is the chevy camaro and the 68 barracuda there's your camaro barracuda but i may have them i gotta look but i grabbed them because i thought i was making the set and here it is and this is an eight car ultra hot set here's your 60 was it 68 mercury cougar and a candy red these are kind of cool i love the cards i think i buy them because the cards and it reminds me of things going by but i only got um one two three four five of the eight so that was uh, number one. Number two would have been your um, 1974 Brazilian Barracuda. It's kind of a candy orange, if you can see it in the light. Gold, ultra hot wheels. This one had silver, if I didn't, I didn't mention it. Your third car in that series, 67 Shelby, Shelby Mustang GT and a candy gold. Spectre Flame Paint. Spectre Flame Paint in the packaging. I think that's why I like it. Then it skipped over a few. I missed. They were all um, Euro cars. So someone in that town is, is buying them up. I missed the Nissan Silvia. And the Honda Civic. And I did skip the 
Pontiac Firebird, which was there, and it just looked, I don't know, I, I didn't, I wasn't thinking. Number seven in that series is the El Camino. I'm not going to leave the El Caminos. I have three El Caminos in my 1-1 one, one out in the garages out there. Um, two, two 1982s and a 1969 muscle car, muscle truck. El Camino, muscle car, muscle truck. And last but not least in this series is the Volkswagen. Mm, what do they call it? Volkswagen SP2. There it is in a candy Spectre Flying Green. Then I left Target and we're on our way home. I had to stop at, uh, what is the Hobby Lobby? I'm building a um, a couch for my, uh, I got a 63 Impala, and I had a parts car, so I'm turning the, the back into a couch, so I needed some material for the uh, seats and stuff, and they didn't have it, but they did have, I don't find much at Hobby Lobby, I buy model kits, pretty much that's it, but they had this, check that out. Tom McEwen is that the mongoose in blue yep the mongoose in blue it's not a chase but I thought it was really cool these are um, auto world but with the Hot Wheels cars um, logo but they are actually slot cars and I'm Really getting into the slot cars now. So that was a, a bonus for me. I like that. After that, went to Walmart. What did I buy at Walmart? Some tubs. Some more tubs for all this stuff. The only car I bought at Walmart, they had no, um, no basic cars at all. It was all fantasy stuff. And this is kind of fantasy, but I thought it was kind of cool. The Mario Brothers. So I bought this for the collection. It is all metal, metal base. It's kind of heavy. I, I like it and I don't like it, to put it that way. Uh, they didn't have anything else. All the old, same old stuff. They had a bunch of these and the, um, the Back to the Future car that's covered in poop, but... I have that in the movie. I got it up here on on the on the ceiling, but I had that one with um, the poop in it. And I'm not sure if the car is different or anything's different about it. You guys know? Let me know. Um, I'm not just gonna spend uh, six or seven dollars on a packaging if the car is the same. So I have that. So anyway, on to. Then we're stopped, we're driving home, and she come across the, it's like an in-town yard sale, and people had stuff. And I collect uh, VHS tapes, if you didn't know. I don't know if you guys seen this. Where is it? Over there. There. That is a marquee in-store, VHS store, marquee. My wife bought about the time I bought all the uh, Tonka trucks. Check this out in the dark. Let me, I'm going to turn the lights and check it out. And then we'll come back and I'll explain some things. Okay. She had bought that. That's pretty cool. But I do collect uh, VHS tapes. And a lot of times, I'm going to move these because if I move the camera, it's going to fall. So these are, this is a whole stack. And I've already, what I do is I, um, I go through, I make sure the tape's not full of mold. And 
because some of these get moldy. If you buy them at a flea market, you need to open them up, check them, make sure they don't have that white mold on them. There's a way to clean that. But I make sure before I, I put them in saran wrap. And that's how I keep a lot of my VHS collection. You think these Hot Wheels is a large collection? What do you see in my VHS room? So I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Also her Pepsi room, which has been slacking, but I worked the last two weeks on it. So we'll do that again. But I pulled out some gems in this lot to show you. What was nice about this is when you go and you find these VHS tapes, normally you find them, it'll be the same uh, movies. Uh, everyone has a Batman movie. Everyone has a, a trilogy, Star Wars. Everyone has, um, oh, I don't know. What are they? Uh, Lethal Weapons. They have all those movies. So you, you accumulate a lot if you buy them in bulk. And you'll have the same movie, the same movies. But this one was all these titles. A lot of these um, are different. There may be one or two. I have to check and see if I have. And um, maybe upgrade. I see Desperado and Men in Black. The Men in Black, I'm, I'm sure I have. I need to check. And make sure there's not a box variation. There's variations on VHS too. And if you guys haven't been collecting VHS tapes, or you have no interest, trust me, uh, wait about 10 years, and you're going to be coming back to this channel saying, Roland, you were so right. You can buy these pennies on the dollar. But a couple of the gems in there were, uh, this one was kind of cool in there, the Reservoir Dogs. Not buy anything Quentin Tarantino. Uh, if you don't know him or don't watch his movies, you better. But I, I'm, I'm looking. I get all the uh, VHS tapes from Quentin, and also DVDs. I do Quentin Tarantino and Rob Zombie movies. Now this one's cool, and the wife won't know until she, she watches the video. But this is what we're gonna watch tonight. This is really really neat. You can see there, rated R. And I love these. This is like, it looks like an old, one of those 70s, early 80s grindhouse movies. This is put out by PM Video. And it's it's just a, a looks like one of those low budget, almost only for VHS, but I'm sure it was in the theater. Like a Grindhouse movie. I love the Grindhouse. This is another one. Looks like a Grindhouse. Um, it was this... Uh, oh. God, I'm looking right at it. Charles Bronson. But it looks like earlier Grindhouse before Death Wish. And we're going we're gonna to sit down and watch that one also. I also love grabbing these movies. This one was from Walmart. $5. So back before DVDs were in dump bins. These were in dump bins for $5. But you can see this one's sealed. I don't have to wrap it. It's already sealed. And I'm a Burt Reynolds fan. And this was in this whole lot. And there's another tub down here. Full of... Uh, box movies like this which i don't know what i do with those but i keep them and put them away but there's your uh burt reynolds and dolly parton in the best little whorehouse in texas pretty cool sealed up i love sealed here's another one that's sealed and it's not my flavor but this one was uh actually sealed in kmart sold in Kmart, sealed up, uh, The Outlaw, Jan Russell, don't know her, don't think I'm going to watch it because I'm not going to open it unless I find another one, and that is Good Times Video, probably Good Times Video may only be 
wrapped and sold at Kmart's. I don't know. I That was a good score for me. Because like I said, I have thousands and thousands of VHS tapes. And um, to find a lot that I don't have certain titles and different movies. That's pretty cool for me. And it gives me a couple new movies to watch. Now I've been saying... Uh, Chewie's behind the stack. He is behind the stack. I've been saying I'm going to do a uh, crack ups video. I always get a lot of questions on it. So that is actually the video I'm going to do next. I promise you I will try and set this up for tomorrow. But if I don't do the video tomorrow, it will be this week. I'm going to move all this stuff, get them off the wall. So you guys can see them because I want to see them again. I haven't seen my crack ups in a long time. I can't see them back on the shelf back there hidden away. So I appreciate all you guys watching, subscribing. And don't forget, stay easy. Check me out on my Instagram, Roland underscore easy. And my Facebook under my name, Eric Polis. I'm doing shorts and stuff now. Thank you all. And I appreciate it. Don't forget, keep on turning Hot Wheels.